Hi folks, Master HotOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I finally got my first international version of the Note 4. This is the SMN910F. Um, this is a lot of you uh, who have this, who live outside the US. Uh, this one I got on eBay. For those of you uh, who've been following me, you know that I ordered uh, Note 4, a 910F on eBay like a month and a half ago, and I got a fake one. So I got kind of scared and then I found one actually on a good deal. This was only 600 bucks. Um, so I just made sure with the buyer and it, it was real. And it actually says in Korean here, good thing I can read Korean. It says Miju Marketing Sadio, which means North American Marketing Material. So whoever had this actually got this as a marketing material probably when No Floor first came out um, and uh, kind of held on to it and then finally um, sold it because he needed money and uh, I was able to get this for only 600 bucks so a steal for a Note 4 now the LTE will not work in the US bands but I mean you know you can still live on HSPA because it says HSPA is still really fast here in SFA area for T-Mobile and AT&T uh, which is my GSM networks now as soon as I got it I installed the German lollipop um, because uh, I had the T-Mobile version, I couldn't install the Lollipop Touchwiz and it came out for T-Mobile and uh, the developers are still working on the ROM version. And I installed Lollipop and this is great and I, of course I rooted it. Root method is actually same as KitKat, um, just use Super use a Super SU version 2.3.7 or higher and you're good to go. It's near, it's identical. Um, so this is Lollipop on the Note 4 and uh, I actually like this international version because it's pretty much bloatware free. There's actually no bloatware, no carrier bloatware. Uh, it's running Android 5.0.1. You can see it's actual real lollipop by clicking on there and you can play that game. Um, ah, this thing is too hard. All right, uh, sometimes I get like score of three um, right away. Sometimes it's hard to even get one. All right, so this is lollipop and um, let me go ahead and show you, um, 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 yeah, um, that's it, no, just kidding. There is, uh, some, some blower, like WhatsApp, uh, la la la, also, also Dropbox, Evernote, Flipboard, I mean, those are, like, only blower you'll find, other than that, you'll find all the Google apps, you know. It's actually not that much different from KitKat, you can see even the notifications, not really Lollipop, it's kind of TouchWiz, um, not bad. So... What is the coolest thing about this? Uh, most of the features actually stayed the same. And the only thing really different is the performance. It is really fast. I mean, people talk about TouchWiz lag. With Lollipop, there's like absolutely zero lag. I mean, I, I would be surprised, you know, because I thought this would be a, like a custom ROM. But this is a stock firmware. So with Lollipop upgrade on all the Note 4 users, you're going to have to uh, embrace for some new Samsung stuff. So this is really good stuff. I really like it. Um, as far as performance, I did an N22 real quick and I got a score of I think 50,000 something. So slight bump up from uh, what I was getting like 46,000 to 47,000 or something like that. Um, so about 10%, 20%. I mean, you know, you should be able to get near about 30% of, but uh, with the Samsung TouchWiz, um, you don't get as much as we've seen with AOSP ROMs. But it's not a huge problem. You can go ahead and root and install custom ROMs. And uh, the Lollipop ROMs are actually starting to get a little bit crazy. So I should have a bunch of ROMs for this phone model. And this is one of the main reasons I got it. Uh, really cool stuff. While we're talking about this, um, let me talk about some of the stuff that's really important matters to me. One of the things I really like about the Samsung devices uh, is that you can install custom recovery using Odin um, without wiping your device and root your device, easily root it. So it doesn't really matter if Lollipop gets updated to 5.0.2 or Android comes out, Google comes out with Android 6, 7. You can always flash recovery the same method and the root method stays the same. You can always root it. Now with phones like Nexus, uh, Nexus phones are okay I mean but you still have to wipe your whole device you have to unlock the bootloader there's no lock bootloaders on the regular Note 4 except for the AT&T and Verizon which they locked it down which is reason I'm not buying any more AT&T and Verizon devices and the problem with the LG is also that it actually doesn't even have a root method really uh, all the root method that's existent for the all the LG G3 
all the older devices is that we find root through the traditional method of exploiting, which means we have to hack into it. Somebody have to find a security hole. Same thing with this new phone. There's absolutely no way to root it yet until somebody finds a way to uh, way to hack into the new Android system, which is near flawless. So I don't know if it's going to happen. One of the problems was other manufacturers like LG. So I am just really on the edge here and I, I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more LG devices because my main thing is that it's easy to root and won't wipe my devices that's why I go with Samsung not all the features and whatever and then I can do whatever the hell I want with it and install a bunch of custom ROMs um, you know make it super fast if you can't root it uh, if it's not easy to root then you know you, you lose that control anyway getting off topic here uh, if you do have an international SMN910F like this one uh, and you don't want to root, but you still want to get Lollipop and you haven't got it, you can go ahead and use Odin and flash uh, the German one, which I did uh, right over it, and you should have the latest Lollipop. Um, for other people who like to root, then you can do the same thing and then uh, install uh, Torb Recovery, which I recommend, and root it. Mine is already rooted, of course. Um, so that's it, and check it out if you have a 910F. And also there should be a bunch of ROM versions if you want to wait for the ROM version. Uh, there is some on XDA. Help yourself, or I'll have a bunch of ROM reviews for this. But I'm finally, I'm glad I didn't get a fake one. This is a real Note 4. I got it for 600 bucks, so pretty good steal. Uh, and uh, as always, uh, I will see you guys soon. Stay on Android. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomax, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, uh, Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.